Hi, I'm Natalie Wharton. I'm founder of Wharton Business Consulting. I'm here today with Helen Cowan, who is the founder of The Tool Wall. We thought it was really important to talk to you as organizations going through COVID-19 and keen to really think through how do organizations develop resilience. So um, over to you, Helen, what's your thoughts about how organizations can manage between the emotional preparedness and the logistical preparedness of going through this journey? Yeah, we've had our busiest week for a very long time this last week where we've all gone into lockdown and many of our clients have uh, employees who, of course, like myself and like yourself, are parents. They are wearing the hat of parent, professional and teacher uh, various times in the day. So we're seeing organisations have two camps of challenges. One is the practical. How do you make tailored work? How do you get people to communicate with each other? Um, you know, how do you encourage new ways of working with people? So some very practical, obvious challenges. They're the things that are seen. The things that are less seen and are why we are brought in and why we've been so busy last week are the more psychological challenges. How do people manage stress? How do you keep emotionally agile through this? Mm -hmm. People are experiencing a whole range of emotions uh, some of which people can't even label. So unknown are these emotions to them. They can't even begin to describe what, what they feel like and, and how they're experiencing this. Um, so remaining emotionally agile is something else from a psychological point of view that organizations are very worried about for their people. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you know, long-term career plans that people have. Um, when we're coaching people, they're worried about job security they're worried about this nice vision they have for themselves and now what is going on with that. But then also, as I mentioned before, on the psychological side, people are finding it very difficult to move their mindset from parent to teacher to professional in the same day, multiple times over. Mm. So mm. The, the challenge is, um, you know, I'm less worried about the health impact of the virus from a physical perspective. I'm more worried about the health impact of the virus from a psychological, emotional perspective. And I know lots of our clients have to. Yeah, no, definitely. And I mean, we're seeing that as well, is that organisations are just getting a point of noise now where there's so much going on in the organisation and something, so much going on for people at home, as you were just describing there, that actually line managers are becoming quite paralysed by all of this. And ultimately, in this time and age, is that people are looking for direction. So they're looking at their line managers to really steer them and navigate them through this. And I think it's really important that those line managers are able to step back and think about exactly what are the priorities of their teams over this? What are the expectations? How are, how are they going to help their people manage everything that's going on? Um, and also thinking not just for now and the next week, but also understanding the journey that people are going through and where they're going to be in the next two, three, four, or even 12 weeks time. Because um, I think what we're really seeing is that there's a need to really think about the new norm. And as you and I were talking about the other day, weren't we, Helen, is that the new norm is going to be completely different and, and the environment which we're going to be working on is completely different. And line managers need to think about what's the skills and capability I need then for my teams, what do I need now? And actually through this, what are those emotional and logistical elements that need to think through to help their people be prepared? And I was sort of thinking about, you know, the coaching that you're doing and the, the great work that you'll be doing with your organizations um, most currently. You were talking the other day about the sort of 30 minutes uh, piece that you do, the 30 minute coaching. Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, and I want to pick up something you said there, because the strange thing in this situation is that whilst we're all pausing, we've all been told to kind of pause our lives and stay inside and don't go anywhere. And, and yet organisations are running at 100 miles an hour in many respects. They're trying to keep up with what's going on. And day by day, things are changing. New challenges are being added in. And it's very hard to think 12 weeks in advance unless you can take the time out to really plan what's going on. The other thing I wanted to pick up from there, and I will answer your question about the 30 minutes piece uh, in a moment, because it's really crucial. Um, but, but it feels like um, we've been told for a very long time that leaders should not jump to a commanding style of leadership. 
you know, commanding style where you tell people what to do is not the leadership style that, that we should all be jumping to. We should be into a coaching leadership style, more of a, um, a democratic leadership style. If you think about Dan Goldman's uh, six styles, commanding is the last one to jump to, and yet it's the one that everyone wants now. They want to be told what to do, and in a crisis, this commanding style is really important. And what we're noticing is that lots of leaders we coach, that is quite alien for them to just go in and tell people what to do. So there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of fog. It doesn't help us to be clear in our thinking, which is where coaching comes in. And we are more appreciative than most that taking time out now to coach is useful, but can be difficult, if you're, especially if you're a parent or you know, you're trying to teach your kids and you've got a hundred demands on your time. So we, we have brought in for some of our clients, 30 minute high impact coaching shots. That's, you can access a coach at any point in the day, day or night and weekends at 30 minutes uh, to really get calm about what's going on, to get more clarity, to have an increased sense of agency so that you can make better decisions. And if you can talk with someone objectively, um, talk with someone who will hold that conversation in confidence, you will come away even after 30 minutes feeling much clearer much sure about the decisions you're making and what you need to do next mm. because as you said most people have been really paralyzed you know, yeah. it's like i've got to run 100 miles an hour but i just feel like i'm standing still yeah um, no definitely. what we're doing taking 30 minutes out whenever you need it doesn't have to be perhaps some big coaching program which is what we're normally doing with our clients we're taking them through six sessions over six months you know, there's a three-way meeting with the line manager there's a set goal it's actually very high impact sessions for those people who most need it yeah and like you say i think that's that's so important right now for people to be able to access that type of support because you know it's something that no one's been through our business continuity plans can only go so far because we can only involve employees in that business continuity to a certain extent without giving them the sort of real life situation and it's about being able to access that support and the reason we are here today as you and I as, as partners and we're going through this is actually is helping all the organizations really share knowledge um, across the piece. And I think it's really important that line managers come together as a community and are supporting each other through this and they see it as a journey. It's not just, oh, I've set up virtual working, I know how this works, so I'll have a quick coaching session. It's actually thinking about the whole piece and having access to that the whole way through, communicating, supporting their team through the whole process, I think is, is really critical. So thank you for your time today, Helen. We really appreciate it. And looking forward with the, the work that you and I are doing on some clients together over the coming weeks. And yeah, if anyone has any questions, feel free to, to post them to both of us and uh, we look forward to it. Many thanks. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you.